Okay, I admit it. Damn, that's pretty. How you doing today, folks? Now, normally, I'm primarily a knife reviewer. However, I do love EDC gear in general, and I just had to check out this pen from Tactile Turn. So this is a bolt action long, and the body is made entirely out of a zirconium. Nice, hefty feel to it. Very interesting little pop of color with this Mokutai bolt. Not sure if the clip is zirconium as well, but it's damn black, so it very well might be. Now, if you are unfamiliar with Tactile Turn, they all have this very interesting little bits of milling to it. Very precise, very fine, and they give your pen a very tactile feel. So the name's quite appropriate. Now, generally, zirconium is very, very slick in the hand, but because of that milling, this pen fits like an absolute dream. The perfect weight balances out to where you have this amazing writing instrument that just glides through effortlessly, and that just slight amount of traction gives you this perfect in-hand grip. So as far as the action, they definitely are, is an improvement over the last integration. It's very, very smooth, very easy to actuate. They went ahead and updated this crescent moon pattern to be almost like the standard J pattern of all bolt action pens. So it's not quite as original as it used to be, but it is damn functional. Now, these pens have standard Loctite on them, usually red Loctite. So if you want to go ahead and take this pen apart, technically you can. Um, it actually comes apart very cleanly. However, this actual bolt piece might strip out on you and it is an absolute pain in the ass to get back in there. So while it does not void your warranty or anything like that, Mr. Will Hodges from Tactile Turn is very, very respectful about that whole thing. It definitely is a bit of a nightmare to disassemble. Now, I mentioned disassembly, right? And that really is the hat trick of this knife. So as you can tell, you really can't quite see where it's supposed to come off, right? But as soon as you twist, you watch it separate and it just glides. And then again, to re-engage it, just twist it and disappears. The amount of milling that goes into this pen is absolutely insane. Also keep in mind folks that zirconium is a hard ass material to work with and to put this much detail, this much little pieces here and there, it is just crazy to me. That must have taken so much time. Obviously this pen is very much made for, for, through CNC, but even CNC takes quite a bit of time, quite a bit of quality control, and you can really feel all of that in this pen. So as far as the price, this pen is $260 in this current configuration. Now that might seem absolutely crazy to you or it might seem pretty damn reasonable based on how far you are into the high-end pen world. Now for me personally, I definitely have quite a few expensive pens. So the $260 price tag while being a little high is not outrageous to me personally. But if your pen collection looks more like these Dollar General offerings, you might be in for a little bit of a hard sell. Because to be clear, I am not here to try to sell you this pen. I am here to tell you what I personally think about it, and that's about it. This right here, this very nice, clean, bold writing, is from this little Dollar General pen. And this one, which is still very clean, not quite as dark, not quite as smooth, is from a $260 pen. Now, in this $260 pen, there is a Pilot G27 refill. Pretty middle of the road refill, definitely not a bad one. I know a lot of people that love them, but it's by no means a high-end refill. Now, with all that being said, Tactile Turn does have two different varieties of bolt action pens and multiple different finishes. This is the bolt action long, this is the bolt action short, and between these two, you'll get about 99.9% .9 of all your refills will at some point in time fit these. If you wanna have a Mont Blanc refill, it'll be a small modification where you kind of solder off the tip but uh, overall, very solid piece, very easy to use, and zircumpresses almost everything. So, who is the tactile turn and bolt action and zirconium really for? To answer that question, let's review the facts. At 1.8 ounces, it's definitely a heavier pen, at least when compared to your standard 0.3 to 0.4 ounce dollar general pens. That extra weight facilitates an absolutely perfect grip and balance point. The minute attention to detail and overall texturing leads to a pen that is absolutely perfect in hand and perfectly weighted and balanced for everyday use. And on top of that, the semi-unique mechanism is great to fidget with and actuates perfectly and reliably every single time. And all of the different models, fit and finishes, facilitate most price points within reason, as well as just a great overall in-hand unique feeling pen that I really can't help but love. So in closing, 
Who do I think the tactile turn bolt action long is for? I think it's for you. Now, the, the zirconium model might not be. It's a little more expensive. It's a little more fragile. It's a little more of a bit of a flex, to be completely honest with you guys. But there are so many different models out there and so many different fit and finishes and characteristics that I really think you will find one that suits your personality style. Now, at the end of this video, I've had this pen for approximately one week and three days, and I feel very confident in my ability to be able to review it because I've definitely used it and quite carried it quite a bit. Now, my overall review score on this pen is going to be a 9 out of 10. It's an overall fantastic pen. It's not quite perfect. There are little things that are personally off for me personally, but I think they might not be for you, and overall, it really is a fantastic pen, and my humble opinion, well worth the money. All right, folks, hopefully you watched the whole video and you finished it up and you enjoyed it. And now it's time for my favorite part of the video. I love you all. I just want to take a moment to give a sincere shout out to all of you. I appreciate you, each and every single one of you who watches this, my content, who watches my videos, who enjoys what I do or who absolutely hates what I do. It does not matter to me if you like me, love me or absolutely hate me. I am happy you are here on this planet, on this earth, in this community. You are a treasure. I love you, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Morning, noon, or night, whatever you are doing, have a fantastic day. Once again, I love you all, and I do mean everyone. Take care, folks. Once again, have a good day. Take care, and bye.